guys, Matt Gunn here with FlyingGiants.com. Thanks for tuning in to another video review. And in this one, we're going to take a look at the 25% Bill Hempel uh, Piper Pawnee. It is uh, got a 108 inch wingspan. It's set up for a 30 to 50 cc. So we're going to naturally overpower it and step outside of its recommended range with a DLE 61. Uh, we're going to run smoke on it so we can dust the field. What we'll do is uh, go ahead and take it out of the box and just you know take a look at the overall build quality and in the written review on Flying Giants you'll see the assembly instructions and, and whatnot. And then we'll come back and fly it and I'll do a report on exactly how it does. So let's go ahead and remove this giant Pawnee from the box. All right, so the first thing we'll take a look at is this enormous fuselage. Uh, this is a pretty scale rendition of the PA-25 Pawnee from Piper Aircraft. The cockpit cover here is one piece of molded um, plastic that's smoked. The whole thing is built up. It's very well done. There's no funky lip or anything. It actually fits very nicely and it's got blind nuts to hold it down. So on the front, it hooks in on these tabs here, and in the back, you have these blind nuts that go through the side, so you'll have to cut little holes in the side here to make it fit, and it, it fits pretty easily. You gotta kinda work it into position like so, and seat it on the front first. See, it's being a little, there we go. So, fits nicely, and should be plenty of room in there for a, a pilot bust. One thing I do like is that they painted the, uh, the wood bracing black on the inside, right on the top, so it doesn't stand out. A lot of kits don't do that. They just leave it as is, and then you know, from 20 feet away, you can see this, the wood color straight through. So they painted it black, and it, it adds just a little bit to it, so that's good. On the front over here, we have another access, and this is for your fuel tank and area and up front, right in the middle right here, you'll, you'll use blind nuts as well, similar to the, the uh, cockpit cover. So there's plenty of room up front. You have five and a half inches, so you could possibly fit the uh, Fortitude dual tank tray right up front and then move it back enough so it's getting close to the CG. But for mounting purposes, the tanks will be forward of the CG unless you build something or, or sort of make it work. So as you go through your fuel and your smoke, she's going to get more and more tail heavy. Shouldn't be a big problem, but it would be nice to be able to slide those tanks back. And I think a Fortitude um, uh, tank tray with a pair of 16 ounce tanks would work just fine. So I, we're going to try that out and see how it fits. I got to order them. They're, they're currently out of stock. So pretty soon, they'll be back in and, and, um, and we'll get that done. So on the top here, you have your, your anti-glare black, uh, even though it should be a flat color. This one is um, just a, a little bit of paint on top here. This is actually painted on. What we got on the nose is this gigantic cowl. So it hooks in, you, you have to kind of pull it out and down to get it off. Plenty of room there for, for air to escape and if you're running a pit style muffler, you shouldn't have any problem. You could probably fit a small twin in here. It's pretty large. Let's take a look inside of the fuselage. We have two main bracing areas, or two main areas to place things. Back here, if you run a 30cc, there's an area for your pull pull uh, rudder. If you are running a 50cc, or in our case, a 61, you should put your servo out on the back for your rudder, so it helps with balance. And then up front up here, we have room for the tanks and your ignition, throttle servo, stuff like that. So let's take a look at the wing. <clears throat> it's a large flat bottom airfoil, plenty of wing area. This thing is huge. So we got the flaps here. They're pretty small flaps, but they're designed to slow her down enough so you can, you can um, not float all the way down the runway with that huge wing. 
huge ailerons with captured hinges, captured hinges over here on the, on the uh, flaps as well, and you have a carbon rod that runs all the way through. So the wings bolt up right onto the outside of the fuselage. You have to do some cutting, and there is no carbon spar like on some of the other planes. Instead, we have a beefy aluminum wing spar. This thing is huge. It will not fail. And it permanently mounts inside there. You slide the wings on. You have your pretty typical uh, Hempel wing struts here. He likes to use these on some of his other planes and they work well. They have an airfoil to them. I don't know if you can see that. So uh, These should go together pretty easily and add a little bit of support to the wing. So let's also take a look at the wheels here. One area that I saw there was a problem, and we'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about, is you have these really cool scale wheel covers that weren't on the pictures of the plane. So when it got here, I was surprised to see that they have these nice scale wheel covers. However, one of them is severely out um, it was mounted very crooked and it looks pretty bad, so I gotta fix that. I don't know if you can see that, but I've gotta take that off and try to remount it and get it flat. It's sticking up on one side. These are just plastic wheels. Uh, they're solid and they don't provide any cushioning, which is why we have sprung landing gear. So this gear should be able to move just a little bit and uh, cushion some of the landing. It is welded up here. It's all solid steel. All right, we got the tail surfaces here, your elevator and horizontal stabilizer, and it's got four Dubro style hinges all the way across. I use these, I didn't replace these with Dubro on the Extreme Decathlon, I just used them and they work fine. So, and then also on your rudder, we have four hinges as well. So these are not glued in in any way, shape, or form. You must glue them in with 15 to 30 minute epoxy. All right, so that's an overview of the 25% PA25 Pawnee. I am going to be using XQ Power servos. I'll be using the DLE61, a pair of Fortitude tanks, one for smoke, one for gas. They'll both be 16 ounce. I'll use the Harris Competition pump and Aerocumulus fuel, uh, smoke fuels. So she should be a pretty exciting plane to fly and I'm looking forward to it. I will start putting it together and we'll detail the entire build in the review and then we'll fly it and you'll get all the video of her, um, me putting it through its paces. So thanks for watching my video. I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the build. I still have some, some parts to order here, so, so it may take a week or so to get this one done, but we'll get it done soon. So thanks for watching.